Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we did a really cool video today with another YouTuber whose name is Relaxed, and we talk about Season 3, if it's going to save Halo Infinite, all that cool stuff. But I'm going to link his channel in the description and in the comments down below. He has the second half of the video on his channel, so make sure you go check that out. He's an amazing YouTuber, up and coming, he makes better content than I do. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Holotide and I am joined by Relax today and we're going to be talking about some Season 3 speculation stuff things. Um, basically, I think he said that uh, Season 3 is going to completely save Halo Infin Infinite and... Um, I, never, I never said that. And it's no, going to blow it up. I think you also said that the BR is coming out at the end of Season 2, so we'll go... I'm just kidding. Um, I don't need this in the comments. So <laughs> everybody, what are stuff. you talking about? But uh, yeah, we decided to do a little a little collab, and um, you will see one part of the video on my channel, and then the other part of the video on Relaxes. And uh, obviously, I'm gonna link your stuff in the description in the comments, and I assume you will do the same. And then um, yeah, we can say hi to each other's viewers. So hello everyone. Um, but let's hop into it. Let's not waste any time, right? Is, Get right into it, yeah. What do you? What is your honest opinion? Do you think I see a lot of people on Twitter and stuff? Season three is gonna save Halo Infinite. What do you think about that? I do not believe that. I believe I don't even know what to expect from season three. I think we covered all the leaks. You see, the Forge beta is gonna be big. What I need from this game, though, is like honestly for everything to come. I just can't have like you know parts of it come. I still want new maps and new modes. Like, I still want like. Probably like 15 plus new like more maps and like even like the little stuff i feel like it just needs to be like a complete game and like we know it's gonna take a while so like no no i think i think season three is gonna be a big deciding factor to see where 343 is at because probably gonna be six months i'm guessing and it, we saw how season two is like they kind of, they're kind of like delaying stuff like like i think they delayed a couple modes I don't know. So, like, if, if they're still behind, I feel like season four will be six months, and then it's, like, still got a lot of time, so. I feel like they've conditioned us for the six-month season thing. Like, I, now I feel like it's not even a big deal, but I absolutely yeah. do want three-month seasons. But I, I actually, and I didn't think about that, is, you know, season three is kind of going to show us the direction that the game and 343 is going to go. You're right. Um... And with people leaving and stuff and then hiring new people and everything. Um, yeah, and I definitely. think that that's been part of the problem, too, is because they are just so far behind. But some of the we got a little roadmap uh, talking about season three a little bit ago. And, you know, it talked about Forge. It talked about equipment and maps and modes and stuff like that. So we've seen the leaks with maps. There seems to be a lot of maps like being made. Not a lot of them finished, but... Yeah, there's a lot of... We, we know, yeah. So, like... But I agree. I don't think Season 3 fixes the game or saves the game or anything like that. Um, I think that it's just another building block, and then Season 4 will add stuff, and 5 and 6, and, you know, till it's, like, Season 20 or whatever. So, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I agree. I think that it's more of a what direction are they going to go, you know, in. And I think um, we get one more event this season, that yapping thing. and um, Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, and that's supposed to be fun. Um, like, it's like crazy game modes, you know, like um, like Unlimited Needler and stuff like that, if it's like MCC. Um, so that's cool. Do you think we'll get a map or, like, anything else with that? I don't know what to expect from this season, to be honest. I feel like they kind of showed us already that, like, they're not, like, we're kind of, we're, they're doing a little better than season one when it terms of, like, keeping us entertained after the battle pass, I feel like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, and I wonder if I the know. events will be different. And, like, will they be, well, not the events, but, like, that narrative, like the cutscenes and stuff. Oh, God, yeah. That, that needs to be improved. That be so much better, but, like, I don't know, maybe it will continue. Maybe we'll actually get that mission, but I don't know, man. Yeah, it's like everything is like kind of like it feels like they're playing it safe. You know what I mean? Because like they got other stuff, maybe like a lot, a lot of stuff in the forge. and Yeah, all the forge stuff seems actually. Coming, I think August, right? If it was... 
correct? Well, I I was looking at the roadmap, and on the roadmap it says Forge comes out with season three for the the beta, but I feel like that's not. I feel like we're supposed to get it before that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. It says season three starts November. What is it? Ninth, eighth, something like that. Um, but then it says Forge open beta. So I can't believe that. It's got to be before that, right? With the leaks and stuff happening right now. You see all the people doing Forge right now. And, like, it looks amazing, man. Like, I can't, can't wait to play it. Like, I really can't. It's, like, it's literally just adds a whole new, you know, element to the game is what, is what I remember. I remember playing Halo 3 and just, you know, whenever I saw my friends on who play halo 3 we're like okay i'm about to how to waste like four hours in custom games you know what i mean like did you forge were you a forger or did you just play was, the custom uh, games i i was i'll play i'll play every mode and forge map you make but i'm not gonna make anything so yeah i'm not creative That's enough I, <laughs> I i can't do it but, yeah. yeah and like all this stuff that you know like serage like all the node things it looks like quantum physics like the stuff that they're making and like how they make it so yeah i can't i, I can't, can't help it. yeah <laughs> i'm not that's I'm not, not for me um but yeah and then so we get worlds you know all the hcs stuff wraps up at the end of october as well um and a theory that i have is they're gonna get the worlds they're gonna finish it up and then we'll get the new season in november and I feel like the game is going to change a lot. Um, like, what power weapons are on maps. Since I really feel like they're trying to keep, like you said, they're playing it safe, not adding, like, crazy things, not changing anything yeah. crazy. And then I feel like Season 3 is supposed to be that. I, I hope that it's that, where it, it's kind of like an overhaul of the game. Um, something that I always talk about is, the game needs a relaunch. The game needs a relaunch when it's ready. Yeah. And I, I think that's going to be with the BR. But what about you? Do you think that they relaunch the game, quote unquote, and like do a huge marketing push for one of the seasons to try to get people back into it? Do you think it's season three because we'll have Forge and stuff? Or is that later on down the road? Mm -hmm. I think I think everything's gonna be natural. Like we'll get we'll get decent amount of forge publicity from them, and then I think the BR is gonna drop like beginning of 23, 23 out of nowhere. Like they're just gonna it's gonna drop one day. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I think it's gonna be like that shock factor they want. Yeah. And that's gonna be the big part of it. Like that's that's what I'm thinking about with this game. It's like how can I expect this game to like not be good if they're adding a forge custom you know file browser. We're gonna have new equipment, maps, and modes down the line. Yeah. We're gonna have a full out battle royale mode, like and then we could get a career progression. It just seems uh, like yeah. if we're looking at this game, like is it gonna be like an MCC comeback or is it just gonna die? Like, right? Like it's I can't think, you know? imagine that they did what they did with the MCC and just to let infinite die you know like I, I like mm. do you catch lightning in a bottle two times but like they've proven that they can do it i i hope that the I, for me i feel like the the greater you know population boost is going to be with that battle royale mode and if it's good i think that that just trickles into other parts of halo and like other game modes and stuff um yeah. but if it's bad or like desync isn't fixed or you know whatever or we don't have the career progression stuff or anything like that then i think that that's kind of that last straw for people to come back to infinite though i really do feel like yeah. the br is that last hurrah it is are you a br guy i'm not i've I've completely checked out of them, but like. But would you Halo's play a Halo on one? It? Yeah, exactly. Like I want to see Halo's take. You know, like that's why I said, like all these, it's Titanfall. You call Apex got, it's, a, it's you know its version of a BR. Call of Duty got's version of BR. What about Halo? Like this is one of the you know best shooters. Yep. I'm gonna. That's a perfect way to segue in this. Is like, I still love the like I love playing the game when I play. It. You know what I mean? Like when I'm not feeling desync. I actually just found out my Xbox could run 60 FPS. I've been running 30 this whole time. Yeah. So, like, it feels like a whole new game. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I don't know. I just like playing it at its core. Like, 
I don't know. I'm also like kind of like a. You could call me a casual gamer. Like I don't know. It's like I'm. I don't have a PC, so it's like I don't know how many better shooters there are out there. But. Well, I feel like, uh, and being a casual is not a bad thing. Like that's just you know you enjoy playing the game and stuff. And I'm the same way. I really enjoy just playing Halo and Halo Infinite. Are you? Do you like BTB more? Do you like four v four more? I like uh, I like ranked a lot just because like I, I like the BR starts and I like the four v four. I like it all to be honest. I just think yeah. like the core gameplay, like it's you know, the whole the whole idea of Halo's gameplay. Just, they did it really good. You yeah, know, like the equipment makes it great. Just the BR and the kills is satisfying. Like I don't get that you know that rush from any other shooter right now and. I guess you could say there's not a lot of competition for it, but 